All right, so if you own any Ford EcoBoost, whether it's in a Fusion, uh, Fiesta, Focus, F-150, Explorer, uh, Taurus, anything, anything, I think that this right here should be your first modification that you do. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be installing a oil catch can in my dad's Bronco Raptor. It's cheap, it's easy, and it keeps your engine clean. So before we get into it, let me tell you why you should consider getting an oil catch can for your EcoBoost engine. Like most turbocharged engines, EcoBoost engines are notorious for blow-by. That's basically when oil vapors and gunk build up in your intake, causing carbon buildup and ultimately just hurting the performance over time. I'm sure we all have seen those pictures. I'll put one up on screen right now of what it looks like. And yeah, that's pretty damn gross. And that's not 100% entirely because of the oil blow by, but a big part of that is the accumulation of this, these vapors just going back through the system. Rather than it getting recirculated, you'd rather it get caught and have that dirty oil or you know bad oil uh, just get drained when you do your oil change rather than go back into the system so we can keep our system clean and breathing good and just keep that sludge out. So like I said, it keeps both your intake and your turbocharger clean, which that's a big one. And ultimately, let's be honest, it's gonna extend the life of your vehicle and keep the performance well. So without further ado, let's jump into the install. In today's video, like I said, I'm going to be installing this on a three liter EcoBoost engine on the Ford Bronco Raptor. Uh, the install should be relatively similar on all EcoBoost engines, depending on the setup that you go with. Uh, but for the most part, it will be about as easy as you see me have it be today. All right, so enough yapping, let's get into it. And of course, in typical Washington State fashion, it's raining. You can't go any fucking day of the year without rain here, but we're gonna make do. So what we're gonna be messing with today is of course this PCV hose. We're gonna disconnect it there and we're gonna disconnect it there. Uh, it should be a pretty easy process. Hopefully that's not me foreshadowing. And the product that we're gonna be using is a JNL oil catch can. They make catch cans for pretty much everything. I am not sponsored by any means. I've used them on two of my previous vehicles. I've never had an issue with them and they're pretty affordable. It was really cheap actually. This was like 150 bucks. And for an oil catch can system, I suppose you can make your own for cheaper, but for a plug and play system like this, and it seems pretty well constructed, I think it holds three ounces of oil. You can't really go wrong for 150 bucks. It really is a great value for what it is. So. Yeah, j &L, I recommend them. I will link this specific product in the description and you can just go through their website and find your vehicle for the kit you need. And all right, so for the install, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this little PCV hose here. And what you're gonna wanna do is you see these little blue tabs here? You see that little back one there? Let me see if I can zoom in there. All right, you see that little back end of the blue tab? You're gonna wanna push back on that and then pull up and this will literally just pop up. I'm gonna try and do it with one hand. Let's see if I can set up the little flashlight there. So look at this, watch. Put my thumb down here and then pull up. And it literally just pops off. And we're gonna do that on this side too, right there. And we're gonna pull this off. All right, so then once you have that popped off and already, just take a look at that. It's all oily. And I, of, of course, there's gonna be oily vapors going through here. That's why that's there. But just thinking about it, you know, this thing only has 200 miles on it. That's already a, probably a decent amount of stuff that could have already gotten caught through here. They say every, was it? I think it's an ounce per thousand miles or something like that, which is a lot uh, considering this holds three ounces. So you're probably gonna have to drain this just shy of your oil changes, or you probably could get away with it on your oil changes. That's what the manufacturer of this catch can claims at least. But uh, yeah, so once you've got that popped off, we're gonna come over to the catch can itself and we're gonna get ready to mount it. So you wanna come over to the battery, take off this 13 millimeter nut. Uh, it was on there real loose. It was not hard at all. So take that off, set it aside. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the mounting bracket for the catch can and we're going to set it on the actual catch can itself. It goes facing outwards away from the hoses. So you're going to set it there just like that and you'll have the threads. And then they provide these two little screws here and you're going to set these two little screws on top of here. Just snug them down. You don't need to torque them or anything, obviously. And then once you snug them onto here, we're going to then put this on there. Uh, let me actually show you. We'll, we'll get through there. Hold on. Okay, so now that once you've got that mounted on the catch can, you're gonna set this on top of the threads like that, and then you're going to... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm leaving that in the video. 
God damn it. And you know what? You know what? I bought this fucking magnet from Harbor Freight. It broke so goddamn fast, and I can't use that now. Oh. You know what? And of course it didn't hit the fucking ground, too, dude. God. Oh, my God. I'd rather not talk about how long that took to retrieve this nut, but we're just going to continue. So what I was trying to say was you just need to lightly thread this on top of here. And you're just going to snug it down, but don't tighten it yet because we're probably going to have to move this around a bit. So just put that on there lightly. And uh, now we're going to move to these hose connections. And all right. So for routing these hoses, like I said, now that we have that loose, you're going to run it under the charge pipe on this specific engine. And then on the intake side, the shorter hose literally just clicks right in. And then on the longer hose, of course, pretty much the exact same thing. We're just going to literally... Take this and then put it on top of here, right on the connection, and it should. Oh my god, that's actually even worse. I we're just gonna ignore that for now. And you literally just push and it will click. And then pull up a little bit, make sure it's secure, and then that's pretty much the install. Now that you've installed it, you can go ahead and snug this down. Make sure there's not too much play, but also not too much strain on these connections, which this position right here seems to be the best. We're gonna tighten that down and uh we're gonna move on from there. And all right, I would say that is a complete install and maintenance on this thing is stupid easy. I've said it a couple times already, but once you do your oil change, just drain this thing as well. This cup just threads on and off. Just give it a nice little dump. And uh, if it's ever like a mocha brown color, don't be frightened. Condensation likes to get in these and my past experience and that doesn't necessarily reflect the contents of your oil. And uh, yeah, it takes 45 seconds. So there's no reason to not get one of these. Improve your engine's performance and increase the longevity of your motor. And you don't wanna gunk up all the crap in your intake. And uh, yeah, that's about it. This is definitely hands down the first mod that you should do to your EcoBoost engine. Uh, it's not a performance mod, but it definitely helps the longevity of your engine. And if you decide to go more performancey on your engine, uh, you're gonna have more blow by and these vapors are gonna uh, add up quicker than you'd think. So definitely, definitely, definitely worth the money, and uh, it, it doesn't hurt, right? Why not do it? If this helped you, drop a like, leave a comment, let me know what I should upload next. And uh, on a side note, if you made it this far, thank you. Uh, I am now five Saturdays in a row for YouTube. I don't think I've ever had this much motivation to do something like this. And uh, I'm going to keep this going. I've got lots of ideas that I really want to make come to fruition. And uh, we're going to do it. We're going to keep going. This, I think the train is strong. And uh, I will see you guys next Saturday. I have a couple ideas of what I'm going to do. But uh, I'm definitely not going to just do these how-to videos. I've got some funny videos that I want to film. Maybe some car spotting. I know some wacky areas around me that definitely could be documented. And I've got one idea that's really cooking up. And I'm thinking I could have that up soon. But... I'm trying to think how I can legally do it. I'm not going to say much more, but we're going to do it. And um, it'll be fun. So yeah, I don't plan to slow down. And uh, I will see you guys next Saturday. And again, thank you for all the support and the feedback of my videos so far. They've been doing all right. And uh, I'm happy with how it's going. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one.